Hallelujah. When you walk with God, you can see wonders coming, following you each by each. Every day you will see wonders. So today morning also, a wonder is happening in your life. Hallelujah. God is going to change your position. Do you believe that? Amen. If you believe, God will come with you. you are, maybe you are going to see somebody and you do not know what to say. But Holy Spirit is saying that at the moment, Holy Spirit will speak to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Things are going to change. In the book of Isaiah 41, 18, God is saying that I will open rivers in desolate heights and foundations in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Whatever God said, it will happen. Maybe your house is uh, having anything. Maybe you are starving. Somebody, I see some people starving. But when you return home, you will be everything in fullness. You will have plenty to eat. That is a miracle of God. When you know, then one widow of a pro of a prophet, that widow, she came to Elisha and said, "She is going. She is going to die. She is starving." You know what the man of God said? Elisha said. Elisha said, you bring some empty pots and a little oil and told her to pour, pour that oil. You know what happened? That oil didn't stop. It kept on flowing. Likewise, those who are having finance problems in their life right now, your, your purse is going to be filled with the money. It will never be empty. Money will come. Money will come. That is a miracle of God. That is a miracle of Jesus. You believe that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God has promised that He will make the desert into a pool of water. Whatever negative you have, that will be changed into positive. Whatever obstacles are there in your home, that will be changed into, um, into positive circumstances. Everything is going to happen like that. Hallelujah. So you know that uh, our God, uh, how the our God led the Israelites. They never lacked anything. Whatever they wanted, God gave them at the right moment everything. You know, Abraham's way, Abraham and Sarah, at their very old age, they left their home after hearing the voice of God. And while they were in the, on their journey, God didn't tell them where, where, where to go, but God told them, I will take you to a promised land. So without knowing the land, they started the journey. They left their home parents, they left their home, everything. But meanwhile, they lacked one thing. And they, you know what Abraham lacked? Abraham was rich. God gave him everything. God multiplied him everything, but he lacked one thing. And that was a child. They wanted a child. Abraham couldn't even go and see other people because when he meets, and other people, when he meets other people, they will ask, you are a rich man, but who will inherit your property? You have no son, you have no daughter, but who will inherit your property? Because of these questions, Abraham could not go out of his house. But you know what happened? God took him, Abraham out of his house and told Abraham to look at the sky. And God told him, you count the sky, stars in the sky. He said, I cannot count the stars in the sky. And God told, I will give you sons and daughters like this, that you cannot count. Then God took Abraham and told, I will give you like the sand, sons and daughters like the sand in the sea. And told Abraham, can you count the sand in the song? Abraham took the sand in his hand and he couldn't count that. Not only he could count the sand in the sea, even a little portion, but he, he couldn't even uh, count the salt, sand, what he took in his hand. So, likewise, God blessed Abraham. Whatever he lacked, God blessed him that day. Today, this time, those who are watching right now, I prophesy in the name of in the name of Jesus that whatever you lack, maybe you lack wisdom. God is giving you wisdom abundantly. Maybe you are lacking finance. Maybe you are lacking money. God will bless you with money abundantly. Hallelujah. 
So if you believe that will happen, if you believe the word of God, if you believe in God, miracle, you will see miracle after miracle. Hallelujah. So today is the day of deliverance, I believe. Today is the day of you are going to change because the God who blessed Abraham has now come here and is going to bless you also. All the uh, blessings written in the Bible which you have to get is going to be, uh, you are going to get from today onwards if you believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Revelation 7, 17 it says that because the lamb in the center of the throne will be the shepherd, he will lead them to the springs filled with the water of life and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. This is what will happen uh, in the end time, when in the new heaven, what will happen? Uh, God showed a vision, showed a vision to uh, John the Apostle while he was in the island of Patmos. So, likewise, when Jesus comes into your life, your desert will become a valley, a valley of water. When Jesus comes into your into your heart, you know what will happen. Your life will be transformed. In the book of Revelation, uh, what John has written that the lamb in the center, because the lamb in the center of the throne own will be their shepherd, he will lead them to springs filled with the water of life and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. When you open your heart to Jesus, you know what will happen? Your life will be happy. Your family will be happy. Whatever you lack, you will be have plenty. Abraham was a man who was living with his parents. He was living a worldly life. But when God touched him, everything was transformed. He began to worship God. You know, Sakai was a man who was doing, uh, living, leading a sinful life. But when Jesus entered his uh, home, you know what Jesus told. From today onwards, your life is going to be blessed. You are going to be blessed, Jesus said. And Jakai believed that. He repented and said, whatever I took from people illegal, I am going to return it back. Four folks, he said like that. So that today, if you believe that your life is going to change, I am saying that in the name of Jesus that, by this time tomorrow, your life will be going to be changed. How many of you believe that? Hallelujah. Those who believe say loud hallelujah. hallelujah. By this time tomorrow your life is going to be changed, your finance condition is going to be changed, your ministry is going to be changed, everything is going to be changed. Hallelujah. If you believe that, that will happen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus entered the house of Jakai and told, you are going to be saved. And he believed that. So the there is power in the word of God. Hallelujah. Those who believe the miracle will happen from this time onwards. And the verse Isa 43, 18, is, 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 it, it is saying that I am, God is saying that I am opening a way. And have you ever known that? It has started. God has already opened. And are you not feeling that? If you are feeling that, your face tells that. Your face Tells that you, I can see you. You have you have with a smiling face. If you are not joy, you, if you are not happy, that means you are not believing what the word word said. God said that I have opened a way, and have you not known that? Hallelujah. So it has already been opened, and it is going to happen from right now onwards. Hallelujah. So. Whatever, you know, how many of you have heard about uh, Bernard Blessing? He came to India. He was from Africa. He, from, he was from the dark continent uh, Africa. He came to India some years back. And I heard his testimony. He, while he was very uh, small, while he was a schoolboy, he had only one shorts and one shirt. And when after the coming from school, he will wash it and before the next morning, uh, he had to go to school, so without getting it dry, he will wear the wet shirt and shorts and go to school. That continued for many years and he had no chapel, he was longing for a shoe. And uh, I, I heard in his test testimony that uh, he, was, he and his mother was, uh, his mother was doing uh, 
uh, work in a rich man's house and that man was very cruel and he gave food on the floor why that rich man gave food to his uh, dearest dog in a plate and while Bernard Blessing and his mother had to take food from the floor and he said that he will take only the uh, rice that was on the topmost part of Hallelujah. I heard his testimony. You know, now Bernard Blessing is giving food to more than 6,000. He is sponsoring food to more than 6,000 children all over the world and he doesn't know to whom he is sponsoring. So when God blesses, you do not, you cannot count. Uh, Abraham lacked it for children and when God blessed Abraham by saying that I will bless you like giving children like the stars of the sky that you cannot count. Surely when the blessing of God comes upon you, you cannot count that. You cannot count it. Hallelujah. Things are going to change. Everything is going to change. Your position is going to be changed. Those who are not having any job, some telephone calls are coming in the name of Jesus that uh, a new vacancy God is going to open. It, it has been already opened. Those who are going, uh, looking, seeking job abroad, already it has opened. It has already been opened. You just know that it has opened. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It is already opened. The job visa, that visa is already opened. It has been sent to the po through the post. It has been dispatched. You believe. Hallelujah. That is what the verse is saying there. Remember you not former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do now a new thing. Yeah, God is going to do a new thing. Hallelujah. How many of you believe? It shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make my way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God can do everything in any, in any state. For men, it will seem impossible. But for God, it is easy. Right now, the power of the Holy Spirit is moving. If you believe, Amen. the power of the Holy Spirit is moving. Hallelujah. So, those who are having uh, any disease in your body, right now, the healing power of God is upon you. You have a real pain, I see. Right now, you are healed right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It has started. The power is moving. The power is moving. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the Israelites uh, wanted water, right now, the healing power is coming, coming upon you. Right now. If you believe that will happen. When the Israelites were, uh, tra were uh, traveling through the desert, they wanted water. You know, they cried to Moses. You know what God said? God told Moses to um, struck the rock. You know what happened? Water came more than that in sea. Not the water came little, but it came more than that in sea. When you read Bible, you can say that water came plenty. It came uh, so much. Hallelujah. So even you are uh, you, you, even you are in the wilderness. Even maybe you are uh, having you are going through many trials. It will be difficult for you to get a blessing. But when God visits you, everything will change into blessing. Your sorrows will change into blessing. Your uh, disease will change into a healthy body. Everything will be changed. Hallelujah! It is going to happen. It is now happening. It is now happening. Only the, in the book of Revelation, I have uh, said before that because Christ was leading them. So they are not thirsty anymore. They are not hungry anymore. They, their shepherd is Jesus. So, those who are hearing, those who are hearing the message, listen carefully. Jesus is knocking at your door. Revelation 3.20 says that, I come and knock at your, at your heart. Those who open, I will come and enter you and will have food with you. 
So, Jesus is knocking at the door. Can you listen to the voice of Jesus? If you receive Jesus, you know what will happen. Your life will be happy. Yesterday I went to a house for a prayer. That house was having very uh, sorrowful news. They had many problems in their life. They had to pay huge debts. They had to pay, pay huge money in the bank. There was no source. But I told them, if you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior, a miracle will happen. Uh, today morning that person called me. Today morning that person called me and uh, said that Lord did a miracle. I asked how that miracle happened. Yesterday I, I had some uh, huge uh, finance to be uh, debited in the bank. But I had no source. But today morning my friend, I didn't even ask that friend, but that friend came and told me that I have some money with you and God is telling me that you give some money to me. And he said, I wonder that maybe it will be a little money, but you opened a suitcase and gave me a bundle of notes. And that was enough to pay the loans. That is a miracle of God. If you believe, you can see such miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do a miracle in your life also if you believe. Maybe you have come a little late, but you understand one thing that God is going to change your position. God is going to change your house, everything. Uh, God is going to take you into another realm. How you may think how it will happen when Jesus comes into your life, everything will happen. Amen. You know, uh, many people know Jesus. Many people were born in a Christian family, but they do not know the power of Jesus. They, they have the photos of Jesus in their house. They, I know one uncle. He is a namely Christian. Once I visited his house, he said that um, I love Jesus. Every, every evening after coming from my work, he is saying that I, before drinking uh, whiskey, I, after taking bath, I will, uh, I will light the candle in front of the photo of Jesus. Because I respect Jesus. He is saying like that. But respecting Jesus like by lighting the candle, it is very easy. But what you know what Jesus wants you to do? Jesus wants you to obey the word of God. Jesus said that if you love me, you will obey the word of God. In the book of John, Jesus has said that if you love me, you will obey the word of God. Some people are doesn't like what I am saying. They want to hear the deliverance message. They want to see the miracle message. But if I say that you uh, obey the word of God, they will go sleepy because it is very difficult for some people to obey the word of God. You know what God told Joshua? God told Joshua, you should not depart right or left from the word of God. And in the book of John 14, 6, 16, uh, you know what Jesus said. If you love me, you will obey my word. If you love me, I will give you one thing. You know what is that thing? I will give you Holy Spirit and that Holy Spirit will do all blessings to you and Holy Spirit will advise you, He will comfort you, He will help you to come out of the troubles. So today morning, this time, those who are here, those who are listening to the word of God, those who are watching through the media, everybody understand that a miracle is going to happen in your life. If you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, you know, your health will be renewed. Your house will be happy. Your finance condition will be happy. Everything will happen when you receive Jesus Christ as a Savior. So, uh, I, uh, as I, I am saying my testimony. I was born in a namely Christian family. You might ask, why I am a Christian? I will say that. I am a Christian because I was born in a Christian family. But in 2006, I received Jesus Christ as my Savior. I began to read Bible and I took, I promised to God that I will keep the word of God. Jesus, I love you. I love you by showing, by taking heed the word of God. 
I won't deviate right or left from the word of God. Till this time, even if sometimes I am, as a human being, I am saying, sometimes if I go away from the word, I will kneel down and pray to God, Lord, forgive me. I departed from the word of God. So please forgive me. I say like that. Then Jesus will bless me. Jesus will forgive me. And Jesus will bless me more and more when I pray like that. Likewise, those who are hearing the message, maybe you are, you are, you are not a namely Christian, you are actually a believer and you have Holy Spirit with you and you have received Jesus Christ as a Savior, but you are not obeying the word of God. You are trying to keep away from the word. Whatever it is written in the Bible, you must obey it. You must read the Sermon on the Mount. You must read that Bible. Whatever it is written, you must read that and not only reading, not only by hearting, but you must uh, 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 do it. You must do that, uh, whatever it is written in the Bible. Then God will bless you separately, differently, wherever you are staying. Wherever you are, God will bless you abundantly. Hallelujah. It is easy to read Bible. It is easy to go to, go to church. It is easy to pay tithes. It is easy to um, uh, preach. It is easy to do everything in the name of Jesus. But it is very difficult to obey the word of God. Because many people fail in, the, in, this, in this case. If you uh, be like Joshua, you know, Joshua didn't depart from the word of God. You know what God did to Joshua. In order to raise him as a leader before the Israelites, God stopped the sun for only for Joshua, not for the Israelites. In order to make Josh, in order to show Joshua as the leader of Israelites, God stopped the sun for Joshua. Today, this time, I am telling that God will do everything for you. In order to make you win the race, God will do everything for you. In the book of Isaiah 43, 3 4 verses, uh, God says that I will give. I will take the life of other people to save you. So our God loves you so much. There are many people in the world. But God, uh, I, I, I am not um, uh, giving them any uh, promise to them that God will protect. I, I cannot know. But if you are a child of God, you will never suffer. Maybe if you suffer, God will be with you. Even if you go in the valley of darkness, God will be with you. His protection will be with you. So, hallelujah, I am going to pray for you. If you believe, a miracle will happen in your life. Hallelujah. So, it is uh, what you, you might ask, what that miracle is. I am reading once again the verse. It is Isaiah 43. Those who have come late, those who have come late, please listen. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19, the verse, it says that, God is saying, Remember you not former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing. God is saying that, I will do a new thing. How many of you want a new thing? Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are in the wilderness? How many of you are in the desert experience? God is going to do a new thing. And it says, God is saying that it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? You are not knowing it. It, it has started. You will see. You will see. It has started. Hallelujah. I will even make my way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. It is very difficult uh, to make a river in the desert. You know, Hagar was a woman uh, with many sorrows. She was very tortured in Abraham's house by Sarah. In order to run away from Sarah's torture, you know, she ran away in the desert. And you know what? When, the, when she ran away, the angel of the Lord appeared before Hagar uh, and said, Do not run away. You return back to Abraham's house. You return where you are tortured. I will bless you. And she obeyed. She obeyed the word of God. You know what happened? God blessed her. God opened a source for her son, Ismail, in the desert. You can see that blessing. So if God opens, nobody can shut it. If God opens, if God gives you something, nobody can stop it. 
so it has already been opened god opened the red sea for the israelites only that red sea was opened only for the israelites to go not for the egyptians but the egyptians followed you know what happened god closed that red sea and all the 600 egyptians with their horses and chariots they were drowned in the sea so when god opens one thing for you only you can get that only you can achieve that your neighbor or your friend cannot achieve that you believe that today god has opened and it has already been started it is flowing it is flowing now you see hallelujah whatever medicines you are taking god is saying that right now the healing power is started flowing upon you and there is no need of taking medicine if you believe that will happen are you not knowing hallelujah those those who are hearing the message till this time those who have not received jesus christ as a savior because in the book of acts chapter 4 12th verse it says that there is no other name in heaven or in earth that is to be saved that is the name of jesus there is no other name among men in earth or in heaven no other name and that is only the name of jesus that is to be saved so when if you want a salvation you accept jesus christ if you want a deliverance in your body you accept jesus christ only jesus can deliver you from all your problems you know uh, the meaning of jesus every uh, name has a meaning for example the name of uh, the meaning of suresh is light i'm telling one name the meaning of suresh is light uh, so every uh, word uh, every name has a meaning likewise the you know do you know the meaning of the name jesus that is deliverance deliver jesus means deliver when you are facing a trial when you are in the midst of a trial you simply say the name jesus you will see the deliverance when you are uh, under go, going a time you simply say the name jesus in the last weeks i was uh, having many difficult situations i couldn't even come out of that situations but holy spirit told me you say the name of jesus so whenever i happen to be in such situations i will say jesus jesus now i have overcome that the name jesus has much power how many of you believe hallelujah hallelujah say lord hallelujah hallelujah once more hallelujah hallelujah once more hallelujah what i am saying is that the name jesus that name is power Amen. last week i had many problems which i could not come out of it maybe it is my weakness i am not telling you that but i could not come out of it but holy spirit told me you say jesus jesus whenever that temptation comes you say jesus jesus and whenever i happen to be in that state i say jesus jesus now i have come out of that situation god help me to come out of the situation so there is no other name in earth or in heaven that is to be saved not only for eternal life but for, but also for the deliverance of this world only the name of jesus and god has opened a new way that new way is the name of jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Luke 3 4 I'm reading and, I, and then I'm going to pray for you the book of Luke 3 4 it is as it is written in the book of the words of the prophet Isaiah is a voice there is a voice calling out in the wilderness prepare the way for the Lord make his path straight hallelujah so God has opened a new way you know what is the new way in in your in your desertful life in your sorrowful life in your sinful life god has opened a way you know what is the way that is the way to jesus jesus said i am the way the truth and the life no one will come to me except through me 
no one no one will come to father only through me jesus has, has said that you will go to heaven only through me so jesus had said that i am the way the truth and the life no one will come to father except through me hallelujah so today right now this is your time to receive jesus christ as your savior maybe you are namely christian maybe you are a traditional christian going to church you are taking holy communion but i am asking you have you received jesus christ as your savior have you a repentant heart if you do not have a repentant heart right now this is the time lord i receive jesus christ as your savior you know what what happened at this moment you won't be thirsty again you won't be hungry again you won't be having any problems in your life anymore now i am going to pray for you everybody close your eyes i am going to pray for you father in the name of jesus i pray in the name of jesus those who have come for the fasting prayer today those who are here right now in the name of jesus i pray <coughs> you touch them they are in the wilderness they have been suffering for a long time they have they have many problems that is to be solved i see many problems in their life many people are those who are watching also have many finance problems in their life many people are doing the ministry but they cannot come out of they cannot come up in the ministry Amen. lord right now the words which i read i believe that it has started yeah you have opened a way you have opened a way in the ministry you have opened a way in the court case you have opened a way in the finance area hallelujah you have opened a way in your in the house and they have come to know about it and they are going to see the deliverance right now touch each and everybody lord hallelujah rabba shakaranda rasakaba those who are under the addiction of alcohol right now the holy spirit is coming and healing you right now in the name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord for being with us thank you lord for giving the word thank you lord for you have opened a new way in jesus name Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, uh, how many of you believe? Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you heard the word of God? God has actually opened a way for you. If only you believe, then only you can experience that. Yes. That do- that way, that door which God has opened, no Satan or no neighbor can close it, can, can shut it. Amen. Lord. You are going to see that miracle. from today onwards if you believe you are going to see miracles of the lord thank you lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord amen, amen. hallelujah